Nothing says happy birthday or congratulations like a beautifully frosted cake. With just a few steps, you can frost a cake with confidence and enjoy the oohs and ahs from your guests. You'll need this basic equipment, a long serrated knife, cake plate, waxed paper, simple syrup, pastry brush, offset spatula, frosting. Step one, make flat tops. If the cake layers have domed shaped tops, you'll need to trim them to make the tops flat. Place a cooled cake layer on a sheet of waxed paper. This will make it easier to maneuver. Rest your palm on the domed top and hold the serrated knife parallel to the top of the cake. Lightly score the edge where you'll make the cut. Gently begin sawing back and forth into the cake. When you've made one cut, rotate the cake and make another cut. Step two, prepare to frost. Put the bottom layer of cake on your cake platter. Tuck in strips of waxed paper beneath the edges of the cake to keep the platter clean while you're frosting. Lightly brush loose crumbs off the cake. Step three, prepare and brush on simple syrup. Simple syrup is a baker's secret that adds flavor and moisture to your cake. To make simple syrup, add one cup of sugar and one cup of water to a medium saucepan and bring to a boil. Flavor your syrup if you like. Let the syrup cool and strain out any solids before you brush it on the cake. Step four, frost, layer, then frost again. Place a large dollop of frosting on the center of your first layer. Spread it evenly to the sides. It doesn't have to be perfectly even because the top cake layer will flatten it out. Carefully place the top layer, cut side down, on top of the frosted layer. Do your best to align the layers. Don't worry if frosting squeezes out the sides, you'll use that later. Brush off any loose crumbs from the top and apply more simple syrup. Step five, make the crumb coat and chill out. Spread a thin undercoat of frosting to keep the cake crumbs under control. Bakers call this a crumb coat. Put a small dollop of frosting on top of the cake and smooth it out. Remember, this is a thin undercoat, so don't worry if you can see the cake through the frosting. Next, spread a thin layer of frosting around the sides of the cake. Now you can smooth any frosting that squeezed out from between the layers earlier. Chill the cake in the fridge until the frosting is firm to the touch. If you're in a hurry, pop it in the freezer. Step six, add the final coat of frosting. When the first layer of frosting feels firm, it's ready for the final coat. Put a big dollop of frosting on top of the cake and spread first over the top, then down the sides, rotating as you work. For a super smooth finish, dip your offset spatula in hot water, shake it off, then use it to smooth the frosting. The heat from the metal melts the frosting just enough to even out any dips and bumps. Put the finishing touches on your cake with edible flowers, fruit, chocolate shavings, or sprinkles. When you've finished, carefully pull away the strips of waxed paper and wipe off any spills with a damp paper towel. Now get the candles ready and let the celebration begin.